Sterling, building specialists. All right, this is the HESCO concertainer. My name is Dennis Balkmar. I'm a coastal project consultant for HESCO Bastion, manufacturer of the concertainer product. Uh, to tell you a little bit about this product, it's been used by the U.S. military for the last 15 years, number one source in force protection in Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, we're going to go ahead and explain the product a little bit. You have an 8-gauge, 4-millimeter welded wire mesh which is made out of Galfan steel. Galfan has an aluminum zinc alloy that is going to corrode before the steel does itself. Average lifespan of this is five times that of galvanized steel. Uh, we have a three foot by three foot Galfan panel here. All the units are made out of the Galfan panels held together with our helical coiling system. Uh, this here is crimped. All manufactured in Hammond, Louisiana. We're the only manufacturer of this patent product in the United States. Uh, the heel coils are spiral down at the manufacturing plant. These are three foot by three foot by three foot units. And uh, we make them in five cell units. So it's 15 linear feet. So you have a 15 foot unit by three by three. Now right now you have the, the crew actually coming in here. All of our units join in through a, uh, a coil and pin system. They're going to move this unit into place here. And what we're going to do is overlap the coils where one unit ends and the next one begins. You're going to interlock the coils, you're going to drop a rod through it so that everything is connected to each other. Um, on the inside of the unit you have uh, fabric flaps. There is no bottom to this unit so when it's filled with sand you actually um, have sand sitting on top of sand therefore it's not going to want to sink. Uh, if you want to go ahead and get a shot of these uh, little flaps right here I'll go ahead and explain it. The fabric flaps are approximately six inches in length. Um, they are they lay down flat on the bottom surface. Uh, sand is then placed on top just to hold them in place temporarily until all fill material can be entered. Right here you have him interlocking the two coils and then he's going to drop a rod through connecting them. What we're going to try to achieve here is a, um, a gravity wall. Uh, a lot of the properties in Florida go through uh, seasonal hurricanes where um, all the properties are under sky where they lose a lot of sand. By applying the HESCO wall, we're creating a uh, perimeter barrier, uh, which is going to fight off the uh, hydrostatic forces of the waves and um, pretty much contain the property under sand. At the same time, we're protecting the pilings and the infrastructure of the property so that the waves do not you know, cause total failure as a problem. We're going uh, three units wide at the base, which will give you nine foot of base. We're going to stair step it up six feet on top of that, and then one, one cell on top of that, which will be a three foot reaching a total elevation of nine feet. We're out here with Sterling Building Specialist. Tommy Silva is uh, our preferred contractor in the Panhandle of Florida. Tommy's the most experienced when it comes to installing the HESCO product. Uh, he's had many successful job installations with us. And um, right here we're out here at night. It's the first time HESCO is being applied at night in the United States in history. Um, he has a deadline for tomorrow morning. We're trying to get his job done. And uh, right now we're on the, the east side of the property, getting the, the base layer put in. We're going to move across to the front side in a short second. We're going to complete the entire base level before we move up. Uh, by the time this project's completed, which should be about five hours from now, uh, this will not even be seen. It'll be totally covered with sand. It'll look like a natural sand dune, but it'll have a backbone strength structure running through the middle of it. And that is our, what we're trying to accomplish. So we have is a... Uh, Heavy machinery moving in. Masks are in place, ready to be filled. Front end loader is going to come in here, evenly dump the sand throughout the units, which will uh, help complete the base layer. Right now, you have uh, workers moving in, pinning the units together. They're going to actually zip tie the units so that no sand gets in between them and they're filled properly. Right, so what you got now is you got the crew coming in there and they're uh, actually zip tying the units together, as I pre previously mentioned. Uh, this is going to assure that no sand gets in between the units while they're being filled. It's only a temporary measure. It has no strength to the structure at all. It's simply to assure that sand doesn't get in between the units. The main cause of structural failure for a gravity or retaining wall is undermining. When a storm comes in, it takes the beach away. Therefore, Sterling is going in and installing 10 feet of sheet piling at the base of our units. They're capping a 2x10. 
by eight. Uh, the sheet piling is driven down at the base of the HESCO units. This will prevent any type of undermining of the units, assuring that the sand will remain in the units and only have to fight the hydrostatic force. Although these are three foot by three foot by three foot baskets, that's a cubic yard. You're going to get about a yard and a half of material inside the basket because of compaction. The HESCO actually blow out. Sand. The more sand you get in that basket, the more compaction you have, the stronger your wall is. You notice that the operator is evenly dispersing this. This is because you don't want to dump one entire load into a basket. You want to, you want to keep it uniform, fill everything at the same level so that you don't have any distortion in the baskets.